We're going to switch into health now this morning. Now, since 70% of the body's immune system dwells in the digestive tract, maintaining digestive health is critical to the body's overall well-being. Sure, it might not be the best conversation to have at dinner, but it might be the right conversation to have with your physician. We're going to talk about it this morning with Dr. Williams. Dr. Williams, thank you for being back on the show with me today. Hi, nice to be with you. <laughs> well, it's been a while since we've had you back on, so mm -hmm. I'm happy you're here today. And Dr. Williams, let's start by just tell our viewers why so many people nowadays, it seems like so many, have digestion problems. It's true that a lot of people are having um, GERD, which is esophageal reflux disease, uh, heartburn, uh, just all kinds of digestive problems. And there's a wide variety of reasons for that some of which are uh, drugs, antibiotics. Um, there's a wide variety of drugs that can affect digestive health and increases the amount of stomach acid people have. The big drugs that seem to be impacting them are the antacids, like uh, just regular Tums is an antacid, but also like Prilosec is a, um, is a drug that stops the production of your stomach acid. And it seems like more and more people are being put on these drugs which is great for short-term symptomatic relief, but it leads to bigger problems long-term. Okay, mm -hmm. so how are ways that these, this can be fixed? Well, first to find out what's causing the problem. Uh, many, uh, uh, one more thing that can cause digestive problems are people have sensitivities to various foods. Like most people have heard now about gluten mm -hmm. allergies, being allergic to gluten or wheats. Uh, those are proteins in wheat. And there's other types of foods that people have developed cross-reactivities to. So first finding out what's causing the stomach problem, uh, then removing that from the diet if it's a food or if it's a drug, trying to get off that particular drug. And then getting stomach acid actually, one of the big myths is that everybody's broken and has too much stomach acid, so they need antacids. But really what's happening is they have too little stomach acid, and so they're not digesting protein properly and the protein breaks down and causes organic acids, and that's what's refluxing, because the body doesn't want that rotting mass in there, so it tries to get rid of it. Um, so the, the holistic solution is to increase your stomach acid. Mm -hmm. But if you've been on these drugs for a long period of time, you need to do it slowly, you need to work with your doctor to get off the drugs and increase your stomach acid in a safe way. Okay, so getting off drugs is a way to increase stomach acid. Are there other ways to increase it? The, uh, the simple time-tested ways, uh, there's a book called Vermont uh, Folk Medicine Cures that mm -hmm. talks about simple apple cider vinegar. Uh, people can sip a little bit of apple cider vinegar in water uh, mm -hmm. along with meals, before and after meals, and that's a, a great aid to digestion just by increasing the level of stomach acid. Okay. Now what can happen to someone if they don't get their digestion fixed, their problems with it? Well, one of the big buzzwords these days now is leaky gut syndrome. And that is when the digestive lining becomes inflamed for a longer period of time, it starts to leak. And so foods that are not completely digested get through into the bloodstream that aren't supposed to be there. That's leaky gut syndrome. And that's now being researched as one of the prime causes of autoimmune diseases. We've, mm -hmm. we've been uh, very up in the air what, trying to figure out what's causing all these autoimmune diseases for many decades. And now researchers are very excited to find out that leaky gut could be one of the primary mechanisms. Is this common, leaky gut? It's common with people that have digestive problems, which is a fairly high percentage of the population, yes. Mm -hmm. Now earlier you mentioned something called GERD. Can you explain GERD. that a little bit more? Esophageal uh, or gastric esophageal reflux uh, disease. Mm -hmm. So it's really heartburn that's now being called a disease, but it, uh, it, if it's something that's gone on long enough, you're getting this reflux of ac acids up through the uh, LES sphincter, and it can start to burn the lower part of the esophagus. Mm -hmm. If it gets bad enough, this is a condition known as Barrett's esophagus, and that's quite serious. You need to work with your doctor with that, because that can lead to a, a type of uh, throat cancer. Mm -hmm. So um, is that similar to acid reflux? That's exactly what it is. It's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah. Okay. Now, how soon can people get digestion problems fixed? I mean, is this something that just takes them to get off medications or get off the food they have and they're, yeah. they're healed? Well, <laughs> un unfortunately, it's like <laughs> everything. Uh, there's a wide range depending on chronicity, how long people have had these problems, how old they are, and how severe their problems are. So I, I've seen people turn things around in a week or two, mm -hmm. and other people it could take, you know, three to six months is, is not uncommon. 
to um, reverse some damage and start to have healthy digestion. Okay. Do you have a health tip for our viewers today? Health tip for the day would be, if you are having these kinds of problems, I would suggest getting off grain for two weeks, mm -hmm. all grains. Just get them out of your diet. Um, and this, if you have a gluten problem, that'll help. And if you have a grain problem, that'll, that, that'll give you a clue as to what might be causing it. Mm -hmm. What's something they should substitute that with then, getting off the grains? Vegetables. Mm -hmm. And fruits, right? <laughs> fruits are, are good, but more vegetables. More vegetables, yeah. okay. Well, thank you for sharing all this information this morning, Dr. Williams. My pleasure. And, of course, mm -hmm. if you want more information on him, you can check out the website that is located on the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but please stay with me. I'll be right back after these messages.